Hi there, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video. So this video, I just want to share something with you. Uh, literally in the last um, half an hour, a open source GPU miner for Zcash has been released. So I just want to share that uh, with you. So I'm currently logged in via TeamViewer to one of my other machines. Um, the reason I've done that is because this machine is kind of isolated from all of my other crypto coin wallets and things like that. And this developer um, I'm not too familiar with. So I think that's just a good um, precaution. So, you know, as with all of these miners, um, just take them with and use them with caution because uh, even though it's actually open source, um, I'm not a developer, so I can't verify what's included or not included uh, in this actual application. So I've just used it on an isolated system just so I to uh, better protect myself at least until the actual community can kind of uh, check through the code and verify that there isn't anything uh, bad in there. So that's just a word of caution um, up front. So the person that has released it is called Xtremel and it is a open source GPU miner for Zcash. So I've just downloaded it from the uh, Dropbox, link, Dropbox link there. So I'll just download that again. Just close that. Uh, the file format is in a tarball file, so you need to open it up with uh, WinRAR or something like that. Um, sorry, let me just download it again. Okay, so that's in our downloads folder now. Like I say, it is a tarball file, so you will need to open it up with um, WinRAR. I'm just going to extract it to this folder. So it says Zcash uh, client, and we'll just go inside again. Okay, so there's um, a whole bunch of different files inside, um, and I'm just testing it with the Windows uh, miner. Um, the actual developer said it's also can be used with Linux as well, but I'm just testing it with Windows at the moment. So inside, there's a couple of different files. The one that most people will be looking at is this config text file. So in here, you can kind of set the actual uh, pool address, and then you've got your Zcash payout address, which is this one here. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as it is for demonstration purposes. Uh, we'll actually upload a, a new video soon showing you uh, exactly how to create a Zcash uh, wallet and address. Um, that needs to be done in uh, Linux. You can't do it at Windows at the moment, so I'll show you how to do that um, in an upcoming video, so watch out for that. And the rest of it you can basically leave as it is. It's got all sorts of different information there. Um, in this video, I'm not gonna go through the different uh, configuration settings. I'll do a more in-depth video uh, once um, a lot of the bugs and things have been worked out. So just leave everything uh, as it is, like I say, unless you've already got a test address and change that for testing purposes. So I'll leave that as it is. So we just double click on the actual uh, miner itself and we'll get it running. So just before I do that, this machine has um, two GPUs in there, actually three. One is actually integrated within the actual processor. Uh, the processor is a AMD A10-7700K, and that actually has a six core GPU uh, built into the actual processor itself. So there's two uh, desktop GPUs. One is a 280X and the other one is a 7950. And like I said, it's also got the integrated uh, CPU and GPU as well. So that's what I'm using in this mach uh, machine. Uh, let's fire up the actual miner and I'll just show you sort of what results I'm, I'm getting with my hardware. So you can see it's picked up three devices. Let's try that again. It's uh, now crashed when previously it worked fine. Okay, it appears to be working now. So it's just creating the original uh, bin file. I'm not too sure where that crashed just a moment ago, but it appears to have started up fine. And the first time I tested it, it worked fine as well. So it's looking like it's going now. So there's uh, yeah, three mining threads. Um, once it gets going, I'll just show you which uh, GPU is kind of listed on which thread. Uh, just to confirm, I'm using the 1512 AMD drivers. So in the actual Bitcoin talk thread, I think they recommended 1610, um, but I'm using the 1512, uh, which is 
kind of the most compatible driver for most other mining programs. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, the clocks and everything, um, core clock and memory clock, they're all sort of um, standard. Uh, you will notice in the actual uh, configuration, you can kind of change it to what it, whatever you prefer. Um, and it's the current settings are all set as one, so I, can, I guess that's kind of a default setting. But obviously, the actual uh, core and memory clock for you know for my hardware is not set to one megahertz, so that's just like a reporting error. Um, so you can disregard that. So I just close the MSR and I just want to really wanted to show you what drivers were being used. Um, okay, so we've got some results coming through now. So GPU zero is my seven nine fifty. Uh, GPU one is the two eighty X and GPU2 is the integrated uh, GPU that's built into the actual processor itself. So they're the kind of results that I'm getting on those bits and pieces of hardware. And um, you can see the second um, sort of um, summary. So 6.9, 9.7 and 1.4. Um, so I think they're going to stay about those kind of levels as we continue on. Okay, so I just wanted to share this experience with you, uh, my mining experience with this Zcash miner. So uh, two other things to note is that this miner can be used on AMD and also NVIDIA systems. Um, I've not tested it on any other hardware at the moment, obviously I'm just using an AMD box, um, but apparently it is good for NVIDIA. Um, and also the same miner can be used, um, obviously you'll need a different binary to use it on Linux as well. So this looks like it's going to be one of the first um, GPU miners um, that are ready for release right out of the gate. So as soon as the actual Zhash network goes live on the 28th, uh, you better use it with your live network address and then obviously this GPU miner should work uh, well for you. Um, from what I've seen from the actual uh, benchmarking, it certainly looks to perform better than the CPU mining, which is kind of um, uh, quite common across all um, algorithms. So I think a lot of people will be mining uh, using the GPUs rather than CPUs, but you know, use whatever is, is good for you. So that's it for this video. I just want to keep it short and to the point. If you have any questions or comments, uh, don't hesitate to leave those in the comments box below. Um, also in the actual description, I'll put links to everything you need to get up and running with this miner. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.